Now, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Z here. Bro, I made a huge mistake on my last set to build video, and bro, I, I better make this one just because, yo, this one's fucking OP as shit. I'm, I'm a hundred percent. This is gonna be my build in uh in two get all one first day. Uh, so yeah, this is definitely gonna be my build. Um, like uh, I got a lot of questions, uh, uh comments. Uh, when my build video went out, uh, like my last one, bruh, that shit, I didn't realize how trash the fucking build was, but, um, yeah, your boy Z, I, I, I don't want you guys going in with a shit build, so, um, yeah, here, here's the build, but that build was so fucking trash, yeah, I'll show you guys why I mean, alright, so, that last set to build, it was like, the stats were so shit, like, yeah, let, me, let me have a look. The stats. The last build, I, I found that I found that. So the last build, the badges that I had was four, four finishing badges, twelve shooting, one playmaking, and twenty-four uh, defending. Honestly, I don't think you need twenty-four defending, and you only get, f and you only get twelve shooting and four finishing. And that was at the build center. If you guys want to make the same kind of build, um. Like just so I, I don't want you guys I'll, if you guys want like something different uh with that new pie chart this would be the best way powerful you gotta be powerful if you make this pie chart one but this is just the upgrade people are telling me this is the best way um obviously the agility and the vertical one I think this is gonna be the best and uh, this is why I watch my last one was 4 12 1 and 24 right watch six already three point Wait, let's do this first. Mm, I think you get less defending though. You get less defending if you wanted to make it the same as the last one. Um, like that's a huge improvement already. A power forward. That like, I fucked up bad. Six, seventeen, twenty-three. The last one, remember, four finishing. 12 shooting, 1 playmaking, and 24 defensive. Like, making it that powerful forward is 100% better. So, I definitely made a mistake. You probably could, like, take some... No, you can't. Uh, I'm not too sure, but I'm not making this build anyway, so... Uh, but, yeah, this is definitely better at power forward. Obviously, if you were going to make it barely, uh, 6 9. I think 6 9 is just... I, I, I don't want to be too small. Max weight. And then max wing span. Uh, the, the, this would have been my build if so, but uh, but this is the build that I actually found. Um, I did a lot of research on it. I mean, I done a lot of looking, looking for the best. <coughs> I don't know what the last build was, but that shit was trash. Alright, uh, this is going to be a center. This pie chart I'm not going to use. This shit trash. I'm going to the old uh, red and green one, half and half. Going this one. And uh, this one is going to be the fourth one down. Uh, agility and a vertical one. Uh, standing dunk all the way. Driving dunk all the way. Uh, close shot all the way. Mid range all the way. Three point all the way. We've, we save three for, for later. Uh, interior all the way. That all the way. All the way. Leave steel for now. Uh, and then you're going you're gonna to upgrade steel until it hits 22. Mmm, bang. Alright, that's 22 already. This is already looking better than the other one. And that's why it gets Hall of Fame shooting and Hall of Fame um, defensive badges. And then the rest on here 5, 18, 1, 22. Boys, like what? This shit is OP. Oh, and but, bruh, how many people on my last video commented? Why did you upgrade strength? Your ass. You're not gonna be good with a uh, with little strength, bro. They don't understand. Strength, in my opinion, strength doesn't really matter that much because uh, of obviously brick wall, and then that, that's all you need. Strength, like I don't know, like the strength count towards brick wall. I don't think so. Um, I don't think maybe they think that strength helps. Um. Strength out defense, and that is biggest cap I ever heard. Uh, that's why you got defensive badges. Like, why? Why would you want high strength? It makes no sense. 
And, and if you're getting bumped back, like from if you're wagering like a post score, you're gonna be moving track or something. Like it's not worth. So uh, this is the this is the build I'm gonna make. Uh, body shape. Obviously, I make. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna go. Nah, I'm gonna go Burley just to be safe. Because Burley was definitely the best last year. Six nine. I think 6 is definitely going to be still the best. Speed is a 67, but remember, Gatorade, you guys get boosted up into like the 70s. I think it's plus 3, so if it is the same. So I don't think, you know, <coughs> this is this slow. 6 9. Um, oh, shit. The, the, the speed went down, but I don't think it matters either way. It's plus, plus 3 again, 64. I don't think you need really a, a fast center build on the 2s anyway. I only, the reason why I go max weight, max weight is the interior defense. I'm the person, I'm the type of center that plays hands up defense all the time. So, yeah, this is the reason I went max weight. Some people, I heard some people go, um, they go 238, they do the one plus interior and then nothing like drops. So, that, nothing drops. But I, I understand. I don't know why people have low interior defense. Last year I had a rebound and went with low interior defense. My shit got. <laughs> I was getting bullied 24 7. I, I, I like my interior defense, boys. And even if lateral quickness goes. Like, this is, there's not really a center that you need to look out for as for speed. Uh, max wing span, I go, I, I go um, max wing. Uh, max wing does a lot. Like plus ten on uh, on standing dunk, okay. Plus seven on block, plus four on rebound, defensive rebound, steal. I like the driving dunk. Like seventy driving dunk is actually hella fucking good. And you got and you got five finishing badges to uh, put contact finisher and uh, contact finisher and lob city. <coughs> Those are like mainly two for finishing. Uh, driving layup. The only reason I didn't do driving layup like. We're not like controlling the ball and running to the rim. Like it's never gonna be like an like an open layup. If it's if if you if you're driving to the rim open, it's gonna be an open dunk. So yeah, like, uh, most of the time, I I think driving layup doesn't matter. Like uh, it's just my opinion. You shouldn't if you're on this build, you shouldn't be taking up like risky risky like inside layups. And if it is, it's got to be a close shot. Like, you might as well just stand in the room and then lay it up. It, 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 it's a close shot. So, yeah. And, yeah, the max link span. Uh, there was a lot of lot of people, like, questioning why my build, uh, like, th three-point shot. This is a good example. Aaron, my last video, commented, uh, <coughs> is 66 three-point enough? 67 three-point enough? Uh, obviously, we don't know because, um... The game obviously hasn't come out. Yeah, they could have changed the mechanics. But I remember last year, Mike Wang said the same exact thing. 60, like 70, mid 70 or higher needs to be consistent three point. But I, I doesn't think he doesn't put in the fact, the factor of badges, Dharma. Um, yeah, I don't think he, I don't think he puts in the factors of those two things. And then, uh, and then boost stand. But yeah, I, I just think, um, I, I just think they're capping. I think 67 is definitely enough. Like, why would they make this build then? Why would anyone make this build if if they can't shoot? And why would they even put it in the game? Like, it makes no sense. No one's going to make a minimum wingspan fucking a glass lock. Like, what? Uh, so, max wingspan. 67 is going to be enough. If not, you got the mid-range 71. You can just pop middies all game. Corner spec, catch and shoot. You know, all of those. Hot zone hunter. Like, it, it, it adds up. I'm pretty... There's a hundred percent, hundred percent you can shoot with the 67.3, and if not, you get 99. It's going to be a 70 plus. So yep. All right. So uh, obviously, I, I done glass cleaning takeover because um, just knowing where the rebound goes is hella important. And then like you 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 worm people, like, it's definitely way better. But that's assuming that um like it's the same gameplay as 2K20. I remember in 2K19, the rim protector badge was thousand percent better. Like it was way better. But I think it's the best, to be honest. Glass take, uh, like uh, just know where the rebound goes on the twos is so important. Uh, so yeah. Yeah, I've built a Galaxy in lockdown. Yes, sir. Ben Wallace, uh, Clint Kapala, Jonas on the Tunis. 
Um, yeah, I think this build is going to be the best. Um, I want to show badges. Uh, this video. Because uh, uh, obviously we don't know what the game style is like. It's probably going to be changing and stuff. I'll make an updated video when I get my badges on the in the park. So, uh, yeah. It's your boy Z. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully I answered all your guys' questions from the last vid. Like, the reasons why I'm going with um the, the attributes and... It's strength and speed and badges, so uh, yeah. So this is my build I'm gonna make, and hopefully you guys make it. I really, really think this is gonna be the best center build in 2K21. I was about to say 2K20, because <laughs> it looks like fucking same in the demo now, but uh, like we're gonna have new packs, so it should be a fun year. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely gonna make a hundred videos this year, so you know, like, comment, subscribe if you guys haven't already. This build is definitely Definitely going to be the best set to build for shooting anyway. Uh, I see a lot of like six, eight paint beasts around. People talking, people hyping them up. But I don't know. I don't. Know. I don't believe the hype. I, I'll go my own wave. But yeah, it's your boy Z, and I'm out. Peace.